Did you know that even though many investors are losing hope in the industry leader in electric vehicles, Sandy Monroe is still bullish on Tesla stock? Monroe has a strong belief about Tesla's potential. Continue to watch and stay tuned to learn why. Enormous investors that maintain unwavering bullishness in stocks are rare. They need to safeguard their hard-earned cash. For this reason, some people continue to place more faith in a company's long-term prospects than its immediate needs. You'll see why Sandy Monroe is a huge fan of Tesla stock in today's video. Why is what Sandy Monroe says important? And who is he? Automotive engineer Sandy Monroe has a focus on machine tools and manufacturing. She frequently speaks at conferences and councils top executives worldwide on change implementation and creative development techniques. Despite having started his career in the automobile and aircraft industries, he has worked closely with suppliers to several multinational organizations. Sandy has a special advantage in the field of technology transfer because of his broad experience and understanding across almost all areas of the manufacturing business. American engineer, statistician, educator, author, presenter, and management consultant, Dr. E. Deming persuaded Sandy to leave Ford and found Monroe Associates, Inc. In 1988, since then, Monroe and Associates, Inc. has assisted producers of a wide range of goods, including toys, cars, appliances, medical equipment, and electronics in saving an estimated $50 billion and keeping hundreds of thousands of jobs in North America. It is hardly surprising that people value his advice given his extensive experience and industry knowledge. In this regard, Monroe previously claimed that when it comes to making changes to manufacturing automobiles at the last minute, Tesla is at least 10 years ahead of the competition. Tesla has no competitors, asserts Monroe. The engineer claims that Tesla manufactures a product that is presumably 90 to 95% there and uses a tactic that basically involves waiting until customers complain before making quick changes. Indeed, he vented over the misguided and partial handling of Tesla's FSD. In his opinion, Tesla is the industry leader and finest in. Autonomous driving and driver assistance. He said that Congress and the NHTSA were being incredibly foolish to investigate Tesla for its self-driving technology. If the United States slows down Tesla's invention, it will be like shooting itself in the foot. Monroe claimed that EVs have considerably fewer fires than cars with internal combustion engines. Cars with driver assistance and self-driving capabilities are becoming safer. The best strategy to drastically cut the 1.3 million car-related deaths annually is to do this. Sandy Monroe was pleased with Tesla once more in a recent video posted on Monroe Live. He talked about how he saw Tesla's car manufacturing process for the first time. He claimed to have made numerous remarks and that there would have been a serious problem if the organization had operated normally. He claimed that despite Musk's barrage of insults, Tesla has not been troubled. Musk addressed a number of remarks made by Monroe. He has a great deal of faith in Tesla because it welcomes recommendations and constructive criticism. There's always space for development in this organization. Musk took note of all of his recommendations. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, goes above and above and continues to search for new and inventive ways to enhance and develop. Regarding Musk, Monroe remarked, he took up a proposal, he proceeded in the direction we believed would be best, and then he went one step farther. These guys can accomplish so much in such a short amount of time, it really amazes me, Monroe remarked, addressing the Tesla group. Monroe feels that Tesla merits all the accolades it receives, despite the opinion of many others that the company is not worthy of the attention. To all the engineers out there, I would like to give you a tip today. Instead of focusing on what is typical in everyday practice today, let's think about what we should be doing tomorrow. It's time to create. And Tesla is definitely an innovative firm. He asserted that other automakers ought to follow suit with this evolution, even though it's a change from. How they've traditionally done things, he added that the executives and engineers must find it difficult to accept adding that everyone wants to keep doing the same thing in the hopes of getting different outcomes. However, until individuals experience such a significant transformation, nothing will change. Which type of Tesla are you, a bull or a bear? Tell us in the space provided for comments below. One of the inventive modifications that Monroe highlighted is Tesla's Gigapress. Monroe clarified that when producing a new product, the Gigapress outperforms traditional stamping and can produce over 100,000 units of the vehicle annually. He pointed out that until the Gigapress becomes financially advantageous, its break-even point will likely be more than 100,000 automobiles. After that, it will truly sparkle. He said it would outperform a carriage lower platform that was stamped and welded, 
He clarified that the cost of the GigaPress with tooling will be significantly lower than that of a steel stamp product. However, Monroe responded that both. The Model Y and the Mach-E are excellent cars when asked which he would want to purchase. Additionally, he stated that he hasn't learned enough about the new Ford model and is delaying making any firm endorsements until they have had a closer look. He stated, I have recommended both the Model Y, the Model 3, and the Mach-E to friends, and I said, that's tentative, and I said, I don't buy one until we tear it apart. That being said, he personally favors the Mach-E. This Cybertruck acknowledged that he and many others are looking forward to its debut. He then discussed the exoskeleton of Cybertruck. Upstairs, the exoskeleton observes what appears to be a large monolithic structure. It's a single, enormous structure. It will have some welding and similar components here and there, but overall, it will have a lot less parts than N. Ordinary vehicle like an F-150 or anything in addition, Monroe discussed and commended Tesla for succeeding without a public relations division. What a brilliant concept, he exclaimed. Someone else ought to consider that as well. After all, Tesla makes headlines nearly every day. Why? Since they are led by someone. Who is the president of Volkswagen, please? Are you aware of Ford's president? Who is in charge of GM? Do you know? Who owns Hyundai, Kia, Honda, Toyota, or Kyoto? Or Kia? No. You're not familiar with any of them, but you are aware of the Tesla CEO. With someone like them. In charge, why would I need advertising? Why would I require advertising? Why would I require public relations? David Jones, chief market strategist at Capital.com, stated, uh, we are seeing more positive sentiment in stock markets in general so far this month. Jones was speaking about his prognosis for the price of Tesla stock. If the decline in global stock markets is stopped, investors may be more willing to take on risk, which will increase the allure of high growth companies like Tesla as of July. Tesla stock might close the year at $946.42 based on Wallet Investor's 2022 Tesla stock estimate. In the future, the algorithmic forecasting service projected by the end of 2023 and 2024, the stock should have rebounded above $1,000, reaching $1,305.60 and $1,675.00, double nine respectively. According to its 2025 Tesla stock estimate, the stock would close the year at $2,037.7.64. Its five-year projection for the price of Tesla shares indicates that the stock would reach $2,541.15 in June 2027. There was no 2030 Tesla stock projection offered by Wallet Investor. Remember that projections made by analysts and algorithms can be inaccurate. Even though Tesla stock estimates are derived from a study of the company's share price history, prior performance does not always portend future outcomes. Having said that, it's crucial to carry out independent study, keep up with EV market developments, and examine Tesla charts. Your willingness to trade is influenced by your tolerance for risk, level of market knowledge, portfolio spread, and comfort level with losing money. Above all, you ought to never engage in trading above your means of loss. Recall that investing entails risk. Thus, it makes sense to take the previously listed precautions to reduce risk as much as possible. Check out our other videos on our channel for more information about Tesla stocks.